Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This might not be the video that you wanted to see, but if you read the title and clicked on this video, then this is the video that you really need to hear that will separate you from your family, coworkers, and all of your other friends. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I got rich once I understood these three things. And the first thing is access or knowledge to information. Now, if everyone around you is in the same situation that you've been in for years upon years upon years, and you guys are in the same cycle and don't see anywhere else out, and all of your friends are still on the same level that y'all been on for the last five, 10 years, then all you guys, they have no information that they could provide to you to help you get out the same cycle. Now, a lot of you guys know my backstory, but if you're new to this channel, then you guys know that I used to literally eat rice every single day for like two weeks straight because I didn't really have any other money to pay for food. When my refrigerator went out, I had an ice chest that I just put ice in to keep my food warm and I just refill it with ice every now and then from the corner store. And my oven went out and I just had an air fryer and I would just literally cook all of my food in the air fryer. So things were not nice to me when I looked to my left and looked to my right, uh, my roommates, my friends, all of us was on the same level. And then something hit me that day. I was like, wow, I really need to sit down and come up with a plan, a strategy to get out of this cycle to where I don't even have enough money to give me a new refrigerator or just to stop eating rice every single day. I mean, I couldn't even afford McDonald's. So if I was hanging out with friends and family that could not provide me any type of information on how to get out this cycle, on how to make money, then I had to go out of the way and find it myself. Now, rich people stay rich or they get richer. As you guys know the term, um, the rich get richer. It's because they know how to make money. They have access to the knowledge. They have access to the information on how to make money. So I had to go out of my way to really find someone to teach me how to make money. But unfortunately, I didn't have many rich friends that I could run to. But there was this one guy that he told me about investing inside the stock market. But growing up black, we did not know anything about the stock market at all. We thought that was the game for a rich. We didn't even have access on how to buy stocks. So I was like, hey, if this is something the rich is doing, then this is something I need to learn. So this is something that I taught myself, that I actually read books. I looked at online videos. I read books on Warren Buffett. I read books on how money works. I read books on businesses. I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So I taught myself the information that I needed in order to be successful in life that my friends did not have. And once it clicked inside of my head, I was like, wow, I got it. It's gonna take me a while to really figure it out. I'm gonna to have to practice for a little bit, but I have this information, I have this knowledge. And I went back and I told my friends, I said, hey guys, this is the way to go. We need to start doing this. And they looked at me and they was like, nah dog, that ain't for me. That don't make sense. Nah, we good. We know how to make money, we good. So I was like, all right, cool. I came back and told y'all, but this is information that all wealthy people have that I'm trying to relate to y'all. If y'all on your own, I'm gonna start it myself. And this is when I started my journey on becoming rich. So if the first step is to gain knowledge or information, then the second step is of course your mindset. Now when that trigger flipped in my brain, it was like, hey, my mindset completely changed on how I view the world from the economic standpoint. Once I learned all of this information, my, my spending habits completely changed to from me wanting to satisfy myself with big purchases to make me feel like I'm working at this job. I need to buy something to make me happy. I have that small time, that one day satisfaction of this big purchase that I really, really wanted. Let's say Xbox or some shoes, that one day satisfaction, I might be happy for a week, but then my mindset completely changed. Now this is the biggest and most important step is that once your mindset changed, you can literally do anything that you wanna do if you apply yourself to that subject matter. This is the most important thing, way more than knowledge. You have to have the right mindset going into anything in order to be successful. So my mindset was that I really was going to attack this and I viewed the world in a different way. So instead of me buying an Xbox 360 or instead of me buying an Apple phone, I used to have the same Apple phone for two, three years straight and the same money that I would spend on the Apple phone, I would go buy some shares of Apple stock. So I viewed the world like this. I would not buy 
anything inside any store if I do not own at least one share of that company inside of my portfolio. And that one share right there changed my life completely. The very first share that I bought was waste management. They drove by my house every single week to pick up trash and I knew trash was not going to wear anytime soon. And that one share ended up uh, changing my mind from me seeing this company grow slowly every single week over time. I mean, waste management barely pulled back at all. So when I bought that one share of waste management, I was like, hey, I got to have more. So from that day, I was like, I'm going to only buy items that I own inside of my portfolio. So instead of buying a, a thousand dollar Apple phone, I bought a thousand dollars worth of Apple, which have tripled this day, if not quadrupled, if not five, maybe six X since that day i have bought out i have friends out there that have two three four five thousand dollars worth of nike shoes inside of their closet but they own zero shares of nike inside of their portfolio so my mindset is completely different from them if they could just spend half of that on nike shares now they have nike working from them now they gotta go inside the nike store buy nike shoes they feel satisfied they come home they wear them they go to work again it was like hey i need some more shoes they go back to ip they go back to Nike, buy some more um, Nike shoes and then come back home. And then that, that cycle repeats itself because they have to have that, that weekly gratification, that satisfaction of them having to say, hey, I worked for something and I need to enjoy myself. So I'm going to go buy some shoes. But that's not what the wealthy do. The wealthy have ownership. And that is number three is ownership. Every person that is wealthy own something if they don't own a business if they don't own real estate then they own stock because when because when you buy just one share of stocks you are now considered a part owner of these companies so now i look at the world completely different way i could go buy some nike shoes because i know i own shares of nike i could go buy an apple phone because i know i own some shares of apple i could go plot i could go buy a ps5 and not completely lose my mind because i know i own shares of sony i could go buy an xbox because I know that I own shares of Microsoft inside of my portfolio. And since I have a small ownership of that company inside of my portfolio, I know that that company is working for me. And let me tell you something, guys, it feels completely different when you walk inside of a store, knowing that you own a little bit, a little small portion of that store. You walk in there with your head high, looking at things like, hey, they could fix this. Hey, this needs to be here. This needs to straighten up. When you guys are not selling things, that's going to hurt my stock. That's going to hurt my portfolio. Coca-Cola, your refrigerator is, is, is not to temperature. It needs to be a little bit colder because I own y'all inside of my portfolio. I promise you guys, this is the one thing that you need to do right now to change your lives in 2022 today is that I want you guys to go and open up an account. I don't care what I don't care how much money you have to your name right now. If you click the link down in the description and sign up for Weeble, if you deposit just one penny, that's right. You could walk around your street. You could go to the corner store. You could pick up a quarter off the ground, deposit that inside your bank account, open up an account with Weeble. And once you deposit that one cent, that 25 cents, you will receive five free stocks on Weeble valued up to $8,000. I, that would get you started inside of the market today. You could receive five of the same stocks, five of different stocks. But once you get started, only start to shop in or buy companies only if you own at least one share of that company. And I promise you, your spending habits will change. If you only have $25 a month to start with, fine. But I guarantee you, once you start with $25, over time, that's going to change to $50 a month because you're going to see the value of money start to change inside of your own head when your mindset changes. when you start to buy these different companies. You're going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to buy a little bit of this company. And then once you see your money is working for you, you're going to start to shift from spending $1,000 every single month on shoes to spending $1,000 every single month on stocks because you're going to see that your money is starting to work for you and instead of you owning a depreciation asset, you're going to start to be a part ownership of these companies that could generate you wealth over long term that you could even pass on to your kids to where they would not have to work a single day in their life. So even if you do have a lot of money and you just have all of your money just sitting in the bank, let's say you got 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 just sitting in the bank, then they are doing exactly what they want you to do. The banks are giving you 0.005 percent 
interest on the money that's inside the bank. And the bank is taking your money, investing it inside the stock market, investing it to index funds that returns them 8% annually. So while your money is just sitting in the bank, the bank is making money off of your money and then kicking you back maybe 50 cents per month just from you holding that money in that bank. While the smart investor, I'm telling you guys, when you start to invest into companies that you actually use, you start to invest into companies that you know and companies that you believe in, now instead of just holding your money inside of Wells Fargo, you're going to invest in two Wells Fargo, which pays out dividends. So instead of you having $50,000 just sitting in the bank, maybe you take $25,000 out and invest it in two Wells Fargo by buying their stocks, and now they're paying you dividends. And when they pay you dividends, Wells Fargo pay out their dividends every quarter. That means you will see four payments a year in the form of dividends that you will make more money in dividends. And from their stock going up over the long period of time, then you will have just keeping your money inside the bank while it sits there and depreciate over times. So now you're a part owner of the bank that you're actually using. Now that's what I'm saying. First, you have to have knowledge and access to this information. So if you want to watch more videos like this, go ahead and click the uh, subscribe button down below, hit that thumbs up button and the notification bell because I talk about information like this all of the time. Two, your mindset. Your mindset have to change. Only buy stocks that you have inside of your portfolio. Start small and then grow over time. I promise you, your mindset is gonna change on how you spend money. And three is ownership. Uh, wealthy people invest into the stock market and then they start their own business and then they get into real estate. Uh, it could be that three in any order. But right now, the easiest one to get started right now because you could get started with just one penny it's the stock market guys don't be scared of it before you dive in make sure you gather as much information that you can as possible that anyone around you don't have if you look to your left every day and then you look to your right every day and it's the same people in the same situation that you guys been in for the last five ten years then something needs to change so if you watch this video all the way through the end i promise you that you're gonna have an amazing 2022 year if you start investing into the stock market slowly and over time and really start to understand how the world works because once you understand how the world works how economics works and teach yourself and gain this knowledge then i promise you that you're going to be successful over time so yes this is not an option type of video this is not buy this stock type of video oh this stock is going to do amazing things in 2022 no this is the most important thing that you guys could have watched this year is on how to change your mindset and how the wealthy think in order for you to be successful in the future guys so if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it don't forget to pick up your free stock guys but um other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace